Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you that how to draw an error, draw a curved error, and then fill it with gradient color. Now let's do it. Go find the line tool. Now I want to use the grid as a reference. So I want to start from the corner of the major grid and then move down and uh, stop at the third small grid on the left here and then I move it to right and stop it at the at one small grid on the left and then right click hit enter now i get the error head get the half of the error head now go find the mirror tool select it select it right click now draw a line right click hit enter now i get the right half side of the error head now let's go find the circle tool. Circle tool is here. This is the two point circle tool. Click it. What I want to do is I just want to start this point and go stop and make sure that the circle diameter is cover four major grid. From here. One, two, three, four is here. And then let's draw another circle. Basically, it's going to repeat. Start from this point and then I stop it here. Stop here. So the two circles have the same same center. Now let's draw another small line segment. Right, right click enter now go find the trim tool and trim something that we don't want right click hit anchor now look at it i got the curved error now let's go find the head tool and change the head type here change solid to gradient now we want to fill it. Say so this time I want to change a new color. Say I want to select red and then select another red and then I fill it. Look at the arrowhead of the, the strong red color and the arrow tail has the light red color. Click it. Now let's go find the block block tool we are going to create create the block we select the entire part and then create new block to group the group them together and uh, name it say so this is error group one now if you move your cursor on the error so the entire error error is going to be selected say i want to move it so go find the move to click it select it right click and then find the base point i want to move it uh, say i want to move it to here Let's do a rotation. Go we'll find the ro rotation tool here. Click it, right click it, and then let's do it again. Find the rotation tool, click it, click it, click it, right click, find, say, here, find the base point. Then we can rotate. Zoom out a little bit. Say I want to place it here. 
Now I got the different 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 uh, configuration, different uh, direction for the arrowhead. So this is how I draw the curved arrow and fill it with the gradient color and then how to bond them together and then we can copy, paste and rotate. Thank you very much for your watching.